you need anything? Look at this. I don't even know where I am right now. We must chase her down. What's up? <laughs> oh, Check this out. I don't think I'm supposed to continue. Look at that, dude. Imagine the bike just tips over straight into the water. I think the easiest way would be going through here. Look at this. What is this? I don't care who you are. That is beautiful. Welcome back to Life of Birch and welcome here to a hot, hot and humid Maryland. I'm excited to be back home because I've been on vacation for the past like 10 days, but I'm not super excited for the weather. Even though I was in Myrtle Beach, I swear it was cooler there and the humidity was not as bad. And I also got to wear shorts and a t-shirt and flip-flops the entire time and now I'm back here in full riding gear. But we're not going to complain because we're back on a bike for the first time in almost two weeks and we are going on quite the trip today. We're headed to Tillman Island here in Maryland, a place that I've wanted to go for quite some time now, but haven't gotten the chance to. It's about like an hour and a half each way, if I'm remembering correctly. And we're not taking the Grom, but we are using the Grom as a little bit of, uh, I guess, like in-between service, you know? Taking the Grom from the house to the storage unit to get the Rebel 1100, because now that the Rebel 1100 is fixed and uh, has all the new parts on it, I've been dying to go on a long trip on it. So that's exactly what we're gonna do as a little welcome home to Maryland. <laughs> there she is, I have missed you. This old thing, no, that's not vacation weight. That is my tank bag. I realized after I grabbed the Grom, the tank isn't metal to stick it on there. So how am I supposed to do this? So uh, pregnant belly it was. And now it's time for the old switcheroo. Here coming out, you're going to your home. Tuck the rest of the kids in for nap time while we're gone. And then we let her sing the song of her people. <laughs> a bit of a hard start after sitting for a couple weeks, but that's the Rebel 1100 for ya. Huh? Couple baby revs. <laughs> oh my god, it sounds so friggin' good. Okay, let's get on the road. Should be a pretty nice drive, and like I said, it's about an hour and a half from here, and I'm super stoked to see what it's like. So I turned down this road, not because it's where we were supposed to be going, but because it said something about a ferry, not the mythical creature, but the thing that takes you across a body of water. And I was like, huh, I wonder what's down there. And this road has turned out to be one of the coolest spots so far. Uh, I was just looking for a shaded spot to swap out my battery and we have lucked out. And this lady's probably very curious. <laughs> Hi, how's it going? Hi. Good. Good. Do you need anything? I stopped in the shade to swap out my uh, dash cam battery. Oh, gotcha. Yeah. <laughs> Am I not supposed to be here? <laughs> no, I don't 
<laughs> okay. I feel like I had to call it a dash cam so that she would understand what it is. Not that she looked that old, but you get it. Anyway, I turned down here on a whim to find a shaded spot to swap out my battery because it was about to die, and it did die. And uh, I found this little turnoff right here, Love's Folly Farm, and it says, Love's Folly Royal Oak, built circa 1800 by Major John Dawson, having had various names over the years, Love's Folly was finally named by the late John T. Love in the early 1950s. Super freaking cool. Like, I know that the area that I'm in is historic, but sometimes I forget how historic, you know? Like, this thing has been here since the 1800s, so super freaking cool. We're about a half hour out, so I will see you when we get there. This is St. Michael's that we're passing through. No wonder it's so dope and historic looking. Look at that. Look at how crazy. There's a dude next to me on an e-bike. <laughs> Where the hell did he come from? It's like I almost want to stop somewhere here to get food, but I also don't want to ruin it if there's somewhere cooler on Tillman Island, you know? Maybe if there's nowhere cool on Tillman Island, we'll circle back through here for some uh, dinner. Plates at 208? Like, look at how cute these places are, dude. I love historic stuff. Oh, these are little speed bumps, or used to be speed bumps that are like, what? wiped away kind of not wiped away you get what i'm saying but it's like a whoop section of speed bumps that was so weird they really want you to slow down through here uh anyway i'm a simple man you know i see on the map that there's water straight ahead and i detour to find said water even though we're not far oh i just saw a peak of the water and another cool old church even though we're not far from uh tillman island at all uh, you know i gotta i gotta see water as soon as possible so hopefully this view is worth the quick little detour is that an old lighthouse up there or does somebody just have like a watch out tower on top of their house oh yeah this is freaking beautiful oh my goodness dude i tried to just get a picture of the bike here but i know it's not going to turn out how i wanted it to because uh yo what the hell hold on you guys will see what i'm talking about in a second but uh tried to get a picture of the bike here but i know it's not going to turn out how i wanted it to because it's so bright behind it and the bike is all black but here's what i was talking about look at this hopefully you guys can see them i looked out there and there's people just standing in the water it looks like grabbing some crabs i did not realize that the water was this shallow this far out this is wild oh yeah look you can see through to the bottom i'm sure that this grass helps like filter out lots of stuff oh there's a jellyfish out there too i'm sure you guys can't see it but that's cool but i'm sure this grass helps filter out the water to an extent but it's crazy that uh that it's this clear like right here i feel like this water is usually kind of dirty i just realized both of these guys actually only one of them but the one is pulling his daughter around as they're trying to catch crabs this is so cool dude all the way at the end of the pier this is how shallow the water still is and you can see i don't know what those bubbles are coming from but you can see that little teeny tiny jellyfish right there there's a jellyfish there jellyfish out there it's like just a bunch of really small jellyfish this is crazy i don't even know where i am right now i guess somewhere outside of st michael's but i need to come back here more often look at this view oh and then i don't know if you can see there's a whole school of like little minnows right there I would assume that these little minnows come in here to eat off the grass and then crabs come in here to eat the minnows and then the humans come here to eat the crabs. The circle of life, am I right? Yeah, look at all of them in there, dude. That's crazy. All right, well, as much as I'd love to stay here for the rest of the day and take a nap out on this dock, I think it's about time we keep on our way and uh, we should be at Tillman Island in no time. Popeye Road? <laughs> <laughs> that is so funny <laughs> oh my gosh dude if you can see pot pie road and go past without taking a picture you either have no soul or terrible taste in food aka pot pie
Don't tell me, is this little, <laughs> dude, this little bridge right here, based on this and looking at that, it can't be more than, what, 40 feet across? This is what creates Tillman Island. I'm thinking there's gonna be some like long, elaborate bridge going in. But look at this, this little, this little narrow strip of water is what turns it into a, an island. <laughs> so welcome to Tillman Island here at the Tillman Wharf. Oh, cool. I do need gas and this is a pretty freaking cool gas station. Does it actually... No parking for fuel customer... Oh, what? It's not actually gas? Is it gas? No parking for fuel customers only. <laughs> Can we just talk about how funny this is and how important punctuation is? In the moment, I read it as no parking for fuel, period. Customers only, period. Meaning no parking for fuel, there is no fuel, and only customers of the shop can park there. When in reality, it reads no parking, period, for fuel customers only, period. Meaning no parking for just regular customers. You can only park there if you're a fuel customer. Yeah, that's, that's, that's fine. Funny. Punctuation is important, guys. That was what's her face. That's always posted in the the Maryland group <laughs> that she comes here. Thank you, yep. Oh, I was gonna ask about the gas, but that is too long of a line. Should we go see if we can, uh, don't park at me, doggy. See if we can go catch up to, what's her face? I think her name's Lizzie. Two Rebel 1100s, both at freaking Tillman's Island. Real Maryland crab cake served here. Oh, she went down there. We must chase her down. This is gonna be super creepy, but we must. Like, what are the chances that I come here and there's just a Rebel 1100 here also. If we don't find her and she watches this video, it's gonna be like the creepiest thing ever. I was hunting you down, but I couldn't find you. You escaped me. Where? Where did she? <laughs> the realization. <laughs> What's up? <laughs> I s yeah. What are the odds? Right. What's your name? Lizzie. Lizzie, I see you post in the in the Maryland whatever group. I saw you, I was at the gas station trying to figure out if it was actually a gas station or not. And I saw you come past and I was like, that was a Rebel 1100. <laughs> I'm like, I gotta go find her somehow. What, what are the odds? Holy shit. Yeah. It is a gas station, it's just kind of old and weird. How, yeah, how do you pay? You have to go inside. Oh, see, I opened the door and there was a line of like five people and I was like, eh, it's not worth it. I've never been here. What what spots do I need to go to? Black Walnut Point at the very end is really cool. Black Walnut Point, okay. And Dogwood Harbor is pretty cool. There's not a whole lot here. <laughs> Black Walnut Point. Okay, I see. It's like all the way down on the tip. Yeah. Is there anywhere worth getting food here? Honestly, the food in St. Michael's is so good. That, uh, I would say just go there. That was my plan. I passed through there and I was like, it looks so good. Did you drive from? Uh, Annapolis. Oh, that's not terrible. Not terrible, no. That's why it's like so strange that I've never even been here before. It's not that great. <laughs> well, it looks scenic at least. That's about it. Is that a Mustang seat? No, it's actually a, uh... Oh, it says Rebel. Yeah, so it's actually, uh, like a cheap eBay seat. Yeah, you can sit on it if you want. Oh, my seat's gonna be a little taller. I forgot to, I have the stiletto shocks. Yeah. So my girlfriend has a Rebel 300 and she has the Mustang seat on that and it's really comfortable. I like this because this actually is a little bit higher and lets you scoot back a little bit further. So it gives me more room. But the Mustang seat has so much padding that it sits her like an inch or two further forward. So she has the Mustang seat and then she has risers that are like the inch up and inch back ones and she loves it. I tried to put risers on mine and I took it to a shop and they wouldn't, uh, they wouldn't do it. Which risers? Four inch Roxy, I think. And they said it was too close to the tank. Oh, um, yeah, it does get a little close. God, it feels so good to take my jacket off. I am the life of Birch guy. Oh, shit. <laughs> Sorry, you're wearing a helmet. I was like, okay, yeah. I, I am the life of Birch guy, yes. <laughs> Please don't hit my bike. Right. Looks like you're good. You're good. <laughs> Thank you.
All right, well, I will get out of here. Sorry for creeping up on you. <laughs> nice, meeting you. nice meeting you too. See ya. Okay, and we're out of here. Uh, I would not advise just like following strangers, especially on the eastern shore of Maryland, unless you want to get shot. But fortunately, that worked out uh, with me not getting shot. All right, well, she just told me about uh, Walnut Ridge, Walnut Point, something like that. Apparently, it's just all the way down on the tip of the island here so let's just head down there and just keep going as far as we can and that should be where she's talking about it's cone mm, cone big lump of juice it has the knobs i don't think that's how it goes a big knob of juice it has the lumps i don't know a big lump with knobs it has the juice it's the part that mostly makes me like the cone. I don't have my map up. Should I go left or straight? Ooh, they both look good. I'm going straight, but left look just as good, if not gooder. Ooh, that's dope. Look at all the stairs going up there. Whoa, and it's a crazy shape. All the houses down here are so cool. Case in point, dude. Look at that. I feel like I gotta close this back down so you guys don't get whistling, but it's so freaking hot in here. Is that an observation deck or what? Oh, dude, check this out this is where everybody takes their pictures isn't it let's go up here and get a sick flick ourselves this place is freaking beautiful and it's crazy because lizzie was saying she doesn't even think it's that cool because she lives here and i'm like yeah that's kind of how i feel about annapolis you know i've lived there my whole life and so it's just kind of another place to me but people see it in my videos and they're like oh my god what is that place and i'm like oh that's that's right it's really freaking cool but like check this out I don't care who you are, that is beautiful. I feel like the last time I did this running on rocks, uh, I ended up slipping on one and friggin' twisting my ankle, so maybe we won't do that, but it's just beautiful, dude. How have I never been here and it's only like an hour and 15 to an hour and a half away? I feel like it's really strange because it's been so long since I've done a proper moto vlog. Like, I've been doing a lot of uh, installs and like, uh, I don't know, just not like proper moto vlogs, you know, that it almost feels weird walking around holding the camera talking to it, you know? Like, you get over that at first, the whole like, what do I say to the camera? What do I do? You get over that and then it just becomes second nature, uh, but it's been so freaking long that it feels like I don't know how to do it again, you know? This is dope. Black Walnut Point Inn. I don't think I'm supposed to continue going there, but what is this, dude? Is this like, uh, I don't know, there's a bunch of satellites? Is it, oh, Naval Research Laboratory. Laboratory. What are you doing in my laboratory? Naval Research Laboratory Air and Sea Interaction Airship Project. I don't know what that means, but it sounds to be above my pay grade. So we'll just turn around, and this lady is like a secret spy or something, locking us out, but she has access. Plot twist, she's locked in and she's begging for my help, but I think that she's locking us out. <laughs> oh, that would suck to be her. Oh, they got like big, big fishing rods. I say as if I know the difference between fishing rods, but they look large, you know? Like, that's what I picture people using when they're doing, like, I almost said the sea urchin open, but the sea marlin open or whatever it is. Imagine they're fishing for sea urchins. Look at that, dude. Beautiful. Ooh, it's for sale. Do you guys want to take any guesses as to how much that house is going for? I'm going to say $850,000. Actually, no, it's waterfront and it looks like they have a big backyard, so I'm going to say a million. Ooh, I was close. 1.2, four bed, three and a half bath, 3,300 square feet. Oh, and it's on 2.57 acres, bro? Yeah, that's, that's worth 1.2. Let me buy that. I have $1.2. Does that count? Oh, damn, bro. Look at that. That, all of that is their yard. Yeah, that's that's 1.2 worthy. Do you think I would get arrested if I stole one singular ear of corn or no? I love how like uh, diverse my audience is too because that question alone would divide the group because I feel like I have so many people that are like 18 to 25 but then also have a decent amount of 60 plus. So I feel like half the group is going to be like, hell yeah, dude, steal the corn. That's hilarious. And another half of the group is like, stealing is stealing. If you would steal corn, why wouldn't you kill my mother? Burn pile? That's how you know that we're on the eastern shore where they just have burn piles going. Whoa, dude. 
Look at this. Oh, the water's like shallow, shallow, isn't it? All right, this could be where the thumbnail happens, but the issue is, are they gonna yell at me? Invading our wetlands, Nutria. Report sightings of this invasive species before it destroys our wetlands. Dude, and then they have a description as if, <laughs> then they have a description as if it's like a bank robber. Distinguishing characteristics, large blocky head and orange teeth, body length up to 24 inches, tail is round, slightly haired and up to 15 inches long, <laughs> weighs up to 20 pounds, humpback posture when walking distinctive droppings up to two inches long and banana shaped <laughs> <laughs> oh, dude, I think I went to high school with a few of those. Damn. <laughs> I love that they give the measurements as if you're going to spot it and you're like, All right, Cheryl, jump on that fucker. We got to measure the tail and see if it's slightly haired. Oh, my gosh, dude. That's freaking hilarious. Let's come right here for a quick little thumbnail so we don't disturb them. Is that a giant dead fish out there or is that one of the dangerous muskrats? Imagine the bike just tips over straight into the water, dude. I would freaking lose it. Literally and figuratively. Ooh, dude, that's dope. Oh man, I am sweating my booty off, bro. I didn't bring my saddlebags because I knew I didn't have a whole lot of stuff to carry, but oh my gosh, I wish that I did so I could take my jacket off and throw it in that junk. Oh, I didn't realize there's a cemetery here, dude. I can only imagine how old those headstones are. I was so like caught up in, ooh, pretty garden. I was so caught up in the burn piles that I didn't realize that they literally live right next to like an old, old cemetery. I bet those headstones are from the 1800s, like easily, bro. That's crazy. <laughs> this is the most small town. <laughs> <laughs> Stop in the car. Hey, where are you going, Susie? I got the dog in here. You don't want to walk her? <laughs> oh, man. All right. It looks like this cool old gas station is uh, much more vacant than it was earlier. So let's go in here and pay for some gas before we get on our way, shall we? You can never turn down a stop at a cool gas station. What's going on? I'm assuming I pay in here for the gas. Sure, man. I'll just sit this here and you can fill up. Come on back in when you're done. Cool. That works. Appreciate it. How cool, dude. This gas smells extra gassy. You know? Boom. Just like that. This place is dope. They got a little bit of everything. They even got alcohol. It comes in a bag. Thank you. Here's Alrighty. Alright, brother. Have a good one. Man, I tell you what. The pace of living might be a little too slow for me here right now, but I could retire here, bro. Got old gas pumps. You got people coming into the gas station to buy friggin' what am I doing? How, why can I not find what I need to find? Anyway, that lady that was in there was just buying, uh, white claw and a bag of chips it's kind of living i'm looking for brother along with some oysters and crab shimon wait a second can i get over there and take a picture of my bike in front of that for a thumbnail slash nice little photo to have only one way to find out boys and girls you miss 100 percent of the shots you don't take let's see Oh, it's all oyster shells there. That's cool. Okay, let's leave it running in case anybody comes out looking for a tussle. Oh, that's going to sink down in. We're on borrowed time until that sinks into the earth. Oh, and I just almost stepped in a swamp. What the hell? Uh, I think the easiest way would be going through here. <laughs> ramp, ramp. Whew. Okay. I feel like this is a clear, like, how to tell somebody's not a local. Ramping their motorcycle through the grass to get a picture in front of the Tillman Island sign. And I am officially sweating my booty off. The beef jerky is no longer holding me through. So we are going to head on out of here and we're going to go straight back to, uh, what's the word I'm looking for? Not Chesapeake City. Why am I drawing a freaking blank? St. Michael's is the word that I'm looking for. For. Oh my gosh, we're gonna go to St. Michael's and grab some dinner before we head home. Okay, so we have arrived in St. Michael's and I wasn't gonna go down here because it's a museum, but as I went past trying to find parking, I saw this. Look at this, what is this? This drawbridge once connected Tillman Island to the rest of the world. Not only is that crazy, but that's a really cool way of wording it. That used to be the main drawbridge going into Tillman Island, connecting Tillman Island to the rest of the world, as they say. How crazy, this place is cool. What the f 
Dude, I've never seen a K-Van in person. But guess what? Sometimes things change on a whim. And that's what's happening right now, people. This thing is so dope. I've talked about getting one of these for, uh... Because I thought it would be cool to put, like, the Grom or the Navi in the back of it. But the issue is that these things top out at, like, 60. So if we were to do that, it would just be for show. And it wouldn't actually uh, help us transport them. Oh, dude, look at the horseshoe crab shell. And that's a rise up straw right there. This thing is sick, dude. Oh, it still has the Japanese... I would assume that's, like, the inspection sticker. This thing's dope. I hope the person's not watching me, though, because they probably think I'm about to break into it. Can you guys hear that alarm? What is that? <laughs> is the island sinking? Is the island sinking? Please tell me that it's not. And the alarm stopped, so I would assume that the island is not sinking or burning down. Oh my goodness, what a meal. I was gonna film in there, but then a couple sat down next to me at the bar, so I didn't wanna be that guy, but that was insane. I ended up finding a place called Ruse, which was almost like fancier than I was expecting, fancier than I needed, but ended up being perfect. I went on Instagram and just went to the St. Michael's location tag and looked for a good restaurant, found this place, and it looked like they had a great happy hour, and it turns out that I literally was in their parking lot already and didn't even realize it. Worked out perfectly, I got a dozen Chesapeake local Chesapeake Bay oysters and a burger. It was the best burger I've ever had in my life. I almost didn't get it because I sprung for the dozen oysters instead of the half dozen, but oh my gosh. It wasn't cheap, but I mean, in comparison to what it should have been, the happy hour was insanely well priced. Uh, I'm definitely going to come back and bring Nina just because that was one of the best meals I've had in forever. I think that's going to do it for this one because we've been out for quite some time and I need to digest my food and head home. Shout out to the Patreon members for making all this possible couldn't be doing this without y'all especially could not be affording those oysters without you guys not that i could afford them in the first place and if you want to support the channel through patreon as well check out patreon.com slash life of birch or check the link in the description you can subscribe your monthly amount and get early access behind the scenes access and more other than that make sure to like comment and subscribe and we'll catch y'all on the next one love you guys peace oh so basic hope you play this damn my pretty nice song and i be canis oh so fake it Hey, 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 and I'm still waiting on the brighter days. Been a minute, been rough many times more. And I'm kicking rocks to a sky of gray. Praying hard, talk to me for I'm done for.